Hello everyone, once again, my name is Mark Stark. I am here every Tuesday, 1.30 Pacific Standard Time, sharing some insights, some tips uh, on Facebook Live. Today, I entitled this, Tips on Keeping a Success-Based Mindset. Look, you know, uh, doing things once, that's great. But what we wanna do, specifically if it's something that's successful and supports what we're trying to accomplish, we want to understand the formula to keep doing it again and again and again. So that's what today is all about. And I have three tips for you. And really the first two are tied together. And I see this being a consistent problem in this first tip. And I want you to, it's something you have to do, but it's also something you have to avoid. All right, so let's jump right in. All right, one, you know, we all here, we have to focus on what we want. Uh, and we have to be clear on it. And I have to tell you right up front, it's absolutely true. You need to be clear on what you want. In fact, if you're not clear, no one else is. Kind of obvious, you would think. But if you're really clear on what you want, well, you're, you're thinking about it all the time. You're eating it. You're drinking it. You, you think about it when you go to bed. You think about it when you get up. You think about it when you're in the shower. You think about it when you're driving because... You're clear on what you want. But see, there's a trap that people fall into that really stops them from getting what they want and keeping that success mindset moving forward. And that is, we get too drawn into understanding the how. All right, so here's what I want, but you know, how am I gonna get there? Um, well, I want that, but you know, I really, I really can't want that because there's no way I'm going to get that done. Um, you know, my assistant, God, they're already buried. I, there's no way I can add more to their workload. All right. We start worrying about the how. Let me help you out. Do not worry about the how until you have complete clarity on the what. And don't let the how stop you from determining what you want. Look, we'll get to the how. You'll figure out how you're going to do it. In fact, the how can maneuver, can jump around. But if you, if you let the how stop you from determining the what you want, you're never going to get there. All right. Here's what you'll find is once you get clear on what you want, there's going to be numerous ways that you can figure out the how. So don't do step two before step one. One Step one is the what, and step two is the how. And once you get clear, I promise you, the how will drop more into place than you thought it would. It'll be easier dropping into place and getting it done than you thought it would be. And or you'll at least be clear on if I want to accomplish it, I know exactly now how to do it because I got clear on, on what I want to uh, accomplish in the first place. All right, so those two work together. Do the what first, and then we'll worry about the how. The next trap that I see people fall into, and this again is something I want you to do, but I want you not to do at the same time. And that is, you know, we all wanna be motivated, we all wanna have inspiration to keep us moving forward, but one way that I know you might not agree with on this is I would not worry about comparing yourself to anyone else. Listen, I'm all about healthy competition, but who I really want you to be competitive with this is you. Look, if you took the proper time to determine what you wanted and it's really what you want, then you know what? God love you then focus on that and achieve that. Use that as your inspiration to move forward. See, when we start comparing ourselves to others, what we don't have is all the ingredients and all the things they're actually doing to achieve those specific results. So you're really trying to compare apples to oranges. And you know, the truth of it is, if you achieve what's most important to you, guys, that is success. You know, what you just got to make sure is you didn't slump on the want and you didn't bring up what you really wanted. So you really didn't go in the direction that was really where you wanted to be and what was most important to you. So in 
Closing. Determine your want. The how will come. And you know what? Don't worry about comparing yourself to anyone else. Just compare yourself to yourself and make sure the commitment you gave you on what you wanted is the actual truth. That's exactly what you're looking to accomplish. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll talk to you next week and keep that success mindset. Take care. Bye.